Guys, I want to run a little test here today. I have this Honeywell three-speed fan that I'm going to use, and as you can see, three speeds on top. What we're going to do is we're going to plug this fan into an outlet and take some amperage readings with a few different meters. I have the Southwire 21030T True RMS 400 amp AC meter. I have the Ames meter I purchased at Harbor Freight for around 100 bucks. I forget the model number here, but it is also like a weird relative to the Redfish in look only. I purchased this one on Amazon. It's a Meturk, maybe Meturk MK05. Last but not least, I have the UEI Test Instruments DL479. This device right here is just very simple. You plug it into an outlet, you can check for volts right here once you plug it in, and you can check amps. It says a maximum of 15 amps. It has a little times one symbol right here, which means it'll actually give you the true amp reading. This one will multiply it by 10 in case your meter doesn't pick it up on this one. So I'm gonna plug it into a wall outlet, and we're gonna test each one of these different meters with this fan right here at three different speeds. As you can see, it does show 119.7.8 right in there. So we have power, the fan should run, and it does, and it's very quiet. All right, so we're gonna turn this thing on low speed. It is running right now. As you can see. The metric meter, the MK05, is showing 0.194 amps. A very detailed reading. It goes three decimal places there. So we're going to compare that with the four other meters. Let's go ahead and switch the speeds because the meter is actually on there. We're going to go up to medium speed. It's showing 0 0.209 amps. And then we have high speed, 0.229, almost 2.3 kind of swaying back and forth. Next we have the UEI set on low speed. We are at 0.19 amps. Let's change it to medium speed. We go to 0 0.20 and then we change it to high speed and it goes to 0.22. So this meter is reading a little bit lower than the MK05 and let's compare the other two. Keep in mind that these are set on the lowest possible amperage scale. So they'll be most accurate at low amp reading because this is less than one amp. Now I have the Harbor Freight Ames Model CM1000A on low speed. And it doesn't pick up anything at all. So now we're going to try the times 10 to see if we can't pick it up there. We do pick up the 1.87 or 1.88, and that's just gonna be translated down because it's multiplying by 10 to 0.187 and 0.188. So relatively close, but we couldn't get it on the times one. Let's try a medium speed. It goes up to 2.023 area, which is the same as 0 0.202 or three. And on high speed, it goes up to 2.23, 2.22 area, which is 0.22 instead of 2.2 because it's multiplying by 10. So basically this has given us the opportunity to get a reading with this meter, which can't pick it up at that low sensitivity. So kind of a thumbs down, I guess, on the Ames meter. Now we have the South Wire 21030T set on the 40 amp setting. As you see, it does sense voltage with a little light there. It kind of goes up slowly and it it goes right about the 0 0.18, 0 0.19 right in there. So pretty close to the other meters. Again, a little bit less than the MK05. Let's move it up to medium speed. 0 0.20, so again, really close. Kind of goes between 0 0.20 and 0 0.21. And then we'll take it up to high speed. And we're right around 0.22, staying right there. So all the meters are pretty close. It goes up to 0.23 for just a little bit there. So all the meters are pretty close. 
So unfortunately, I'm going to have to call the CM1000A the loser in this test because it couldn't read that low amperage. No matter what the range selection was, it didn't make a difference. We could read it under the times 10 part of the amperage tester, but because we don't have a times 10 part of many common components, at least in HVAC where I come from, it's kind of out of it as far as usefulness in the field. Even though it does have a lot of great features like capacitance, millivolts, having that sensitivity to low amperages is going to be necessary for troubleshooting some of our smaller motors. So I'm concerned that this would not be beneficial in the field. You guys let me know what you think. And let me know guys out there with other models of the same body style like CPS or the Redfish. Does it pick up those low amperages okay? I would think that the Redfish does, but I never have confirmed that whenever I've had it in my possession. So that's where I'm going to leave it, guys. Let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you on the next one.